So we get a lot of questions about what it's like to live in Phoenix, Arizona, and we've got answers. So uh, I wanna get right into this right now. What's up, friends and fam? It's your favorite relocation team. My name is Kevin, and this is my wife, Julia. We are gonna go over five points today on what it's like to live in Phoenix. We get a lot of questions from you guys, so we wanna make sure that we cover this stuff. So the first one, point number one, is the heat. Now, this place is hot. We're actually currently going through a heat wave right now. Now, I've lived in six different states. I've lived in Iraq as a Marine. Julia's lived in Romania, and she lived in a lot of different states here as well, including here 20 years ago. Right. So she was well familiar with the heat, so was I. It is hot right now, okay? It is constantly in these two months, July and August was what, an average of 111, 115. Last year, we had this great monsoon season where mm. we had this incredible humidity and a lot of rain. Yeah. We are not getting that this year. No, we're not. <laughs> it is completely the opposite. We are just no rainfall and yeah. it's just really hot. But you know what? We moved here for a reason, right? I mean, it's not just hot all the time. With right. nine months of just beautiful weather, we do say, you know, experience one summer here, and then all of a sudden you're gonna get acclimated to it, and that 70 degree weather's gonna hit, and you're gonna be cold, right? Yeah, that's right. You're gonna need a jacket, you're, you're gonna, gonna need sweatpants at <laughs> yeah. night, and um, it does get to the low 30s, or I mean, the like the high 30s in the winter time. At night. At night, yeah. so you're gonna need to bundle up because mm -hmm. it is gonna get cold, but yeah. for the most part, it's just gorgeous weather here. We love it. Just to touch on the humidity thing again, she's lived in Seattle, she's lived in te Texas, you know, it's, I've LA. lived in Virginia. Yeah. It's not that humid, okay? There's not humidity here. It is right. very dry, so if you sit in the shade, it's right. cooler. Yeah, it's about, actually it's about, what, 20 degrees cooler in the shade. However, because we're experiencing the monsoon season right now, which is from about June through August, so even though we're not having any, any rain, which we want really bad, <laughs> Really it's um, it's still humid, more humid than than, than normal. normal. Um, humid for us anyway, right? So it does hurt a little bit. <laughs> it's like I, I can deal with the humidity as long as I'm getting some rain, but hot and humid and no rain. Oh man, I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're being completely honest with you guys. It's it's pretty rough right now, but we're doing a lot of work inside. Yeah. We're trying to stay out of out of the heat. So yeah, but it's but not that bad. But we're still doing bad. those vlog tours for you guys. We're still we just doing do it them early in the morning. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. when we lived in Colorado, I felt like it was cold all the time. I mean, yeah. I felt like we swapped it. I was nine right. months of cold and just a couple of months of that really nice weather where we can go camping and do things outside. And yeah. then all of a sudden, bam, we're back in the cold. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that didn't last long enough. So. Right. I mean, we wanted to cover that for you today. It's really important knowledge when moving here. I know we get that question a lot. It is hot, but But it's, it's only a couple months a year and then the rest of the time it's just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is desert landscape. So when I lived here 20 years ago, after I moved away back to Seattle, you know, all I can remember, were, there are actually two things, right? The heat did not like <laughs> and the desert landscape. So I lived in an area where, you know, it was definitely desert living, right? Not a lot of mature growth, not a lot of trees. And it's just not my cup of tea, right? I mean, a lot of people love that. And I'm not going to lie. It is beautiful. It's just not my thing. But it's not like that everywhere. You know, we live in North Phoenix right now. We live in an older neighborhood and we have tons of mature growth, huge trees. Our backyard mm -hmm. is just full of big bushes and trees and flowers. And I feel like, you know, I don't live in Phoenix. I feel like I'm somewhere else. Not that I don't love it here. Right. <laughs> don't you, get me wrong. You would never think that you would find these places in here and just, you would, it would like seem more like a Beverly Hills than it does the desert. Because, yeah. you know, on those outskirts. Somewhere on the East Coast, or I don't know, right. anywhere the, where there's tons of vegetation. <laughs> yeah, on those outskirts of the city, you know, they come butt up next to the hills and things like that. I mean, still, you get that desert living here. But now that everything is much more developed right. and the shopping centers and things like that, I mean, they have spared no expense. They right. have put in all these mature palm trees right. or bushes or whatever. Even the new apartment complexes and condos and stuff have tons of greenery that's like on the outside growing on it. It looks like it's a growing apartment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're so beautiful and you yeah. would never think that yeah. about Arizona, but until you right. get here and yeah. you see all the water features, all the trees, all this yeah. stuff, yeah. you do not feel like you're in the desert yeah. anymore. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So the reason we moved to Phoenix, Arizona is honestly, we had a lot of friends and family that moved down here from Washington State 
and I was actually closer to my brother who still lives currently in California. And so it was just a great move for us. Also, we just wanted to get out of the cold. <laughs> we were just so tired of the cold, so we already covered that. Yeah. But ultimately, it's like if you move here and you don't have friends and family, people are generally easy and friendly here. It's a really great place. It's a melting pot. A lot of other people come from all around the world or all around the United States at least. And then you just get all these different cuisines, you get all these different types of people and people are just generally yeah. friendly. Absolutely, yeah. And this place has become very culturally diverse, which I love. It's much different than it was when I lived here before 20 years ago. And yeah, and I think I've talked about this before. Like I said, I lived in many different states. I lived in another country, <laughs> but Phoenix was the one place where I made the most friends. Yeah, so I definitely think a quality of life here is so much better. Yeah. I come from personally from LA where <laughs> I don't feel like I'm not gonna talk hey. down too much, but no. I'm telling you right now, I don't feel like lots of people wanna be your friends. I was there for a very long time. And then as soon as I moved away, I was like, man, there's- Crickets. <laughs> I know, there's so many different places that are so much better to meet people or into things that you're into. So I really like it here. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is not much to offer. <laughs> so what I mean by that is, you know, again, when I lived here before, 20 years ago, well, this place didn't really have a lot to offer, right? I was kind of bored, I was young, and I wanted to go out and have fun, and I lived in Ahwatukee, and I would always drive to Scottsdale, actually North Scottsdale, to hang out with my friends. And it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> so yeah. it's not the case anymore. I mean, oh my gosh, just there's tons of stuff to do everywhere. It's here. definitely got way more developed now. Yes. There's tons of things to do inside because they're thinking about those summer That's temperatures, right. right? So there's lots of things to do inside. There's tons, always tons of things to do outside. We have a great Christmas bonanza and, oh and, and the holidays and stuff. And yes. you wouldn't think that a place in the desert would decorate for Christmas, but I think they decorate more than any other place that I've yes. lived at, unless it was like Washington or something, um, I don't know. I think it's even more than Washington, like the Seattle area, yeah. definitely more than LA. It's it's probably the most decorated I've ever seen anywhere. Um, and I love that because I love Christmas. <laughs> right, exactly. So anyways, there's a lot more to offer now. Things have grown exponentially and we have everything from food to entertainment to Absolutely. tons of golfing, Dining, you name it. movie theaters, like indoor golfing. We also have lots of resorts where you can go meet a friend for lunch, go hang out by the pool if you don't have your own, um, get a massage, get a facial. It's just so much to do and Kevin's gonna tell yeah, you about no, something we, really cool. <laughs> I'm a huge car enthusiast, so we have tons of car shows here with like cars and coffee. We also have Barrett Jackson every year over in Scottsdale, which is absolutely awesome just to see all the million dollar cars and things like that. And then also this is just the mecca for just outdoor living. You know, we've taken the side-by-sides, oh, the Can-Ams yeah. out and stuff, and just went in the dry riverbeds. We have shooting ranges. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still like Arizona stills can be the like the Wild West, you know? <laughs> There's so much crap to do in here, Which and I just love it. Which makes it very attractive for a lot of people. It does. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does, so it's great. So number five is living in the city without the big city hassle. Now, coming from LA, coming from Seattle, we're always gonna tell you that I hate living in the city. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and I, what I mean by I hate living in the city is I just hate paying for everything all the time, whether it be parking or tickets or just like not finding parking or just like the annoying parts of the city. Right. So, I mean. Traffic. We, right, mm -hmm. so we don't live in Phoenix, the city, like, like, like I mean, well, downtown. Town, right. I should say. Uh, we live in Phoenix, but we don't <laughs> live downtown. But I love it because, you know, there's plenty of parking everywhere. I know that was a major thing for me because, you know, I come from Venice Beach and there's never any parking. I always took Well, my... you can't read parking signs very well. <laughs> I don't. We have like nine parking signs and they're like all give you a different time on a different day. It's and true. it's like, if you're not a mathematician, you're getting a ticket, all right? So you're gonna walk it up your $200 lunch and you're gonna have a $90 ticket. Uh, it's so ridiculous. But anyways, every time we left the house, it was like a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Parking, this, that, and I just- I, Uber I, rides, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and so, you know, the first time we moved to Colorado, I absolutely loved the fact that we just had all this parking and everything, and I think that translates over mm -hmm. here into Phoenix. Yes. There's plenty of places to go, there's plenty of things to do, and you don't have to pay for anything, you know, as far as parking goes. Right, or just... of course, um, we're not talking about the downtown area, right. but everywhere else. 
it's yeah, everywhere else. Case. So I got a little off track there on the parking <laughs> because like it is a bit, it's a major thing for me. It's really annoying. But anyways, going back into, you know, having all the amenities, having all the restaurants to go to, having places door dash to your house, anything like that, we have everything all the around shopping, us. shopping, like there's tons of luxury shopping, more than I've seen in Vegas. Right. Or Rodeo Drive. <laughs> right, so I mean, we are literally minutes from any of this stuff that we wanna go to. I would say, you know, 10 minutes, and we, are, can, we can be anywhere we want, at any restaurant we want, any mm -hmm. shopping we want, and that's a huge thing for me, so. Yeah. Being able to have those amenities and not have to like deal with that city life like hassle. Uh, it's definitely, you know, just traffic getting there, right? Traffic mm -hmm. getting there. Uh, there's none of that. Uh, I mean, there's traffic, but it ain't bad, you know? Um, there's nothing, no gridlock stuff or anything like LA or nothing, so. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit on the freeway going through, again, through downtown, just like any other major city, right? You're right. gonna run into that a little bit, but it's nothing compared to those big cities like New York, San Francisco, LA, Seattle, what have you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But anyways, this place is huge. We can find you a house on whatever you want to be next to or not be next to. You just kind of tell us what you're looking for and your budgetary needs, and we can find those places for you. So shoot us a call, text message, email, days, nights, weekends. Until next time.